Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Brianna, if you're new here. So it's December 1st, which means it's the beginning of Vlogmas. And if you don't know what Vlogmas is, basically YouTubers, what they do is that they vlog every single day up until Christmas and they upload it every single day up, up until Christmas. So it's like literally a December diary, I would say, but visual. But I'm gonna be honest with y'all, my life is not together. I still have finals, I still have work, so the uploading every single day thing is just not going to work for me, not this year at least. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to still vlog every single day, but I'm going to like compile it into like, you know, like a weekly vlog, so like vlogmas week one, week two, week three, week four, until Christmas. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm not prepared because as you see I have a whole bunch of shit behind me and my house is just a mess. I've been living I've been living out of bags since I came home. So I'm gonna take today to just get my house in order so then I could decorate tomorrow. But y'all already know the drill. I have not eaten today and it is 5:23. I have work and honestly I just don't know why I be doing this to myself but I'm about to make a quick little salad I picked up the salad the other day it's the Southwest salad from Walmart so I'm gonna just put this together and see what it's hitting on ended up adding some pepperoncinis white onions some crispy onions and some croutons just to add some flavor to the salad Cause if it's not loaded all the way, I'm not gonna eat it. But it tastes pretty good. And it was only like $3 for the whole bag. But I got a package from Ulta. Let me do it this way so I don't fucking screenshot my address and stuff. But I don't think I really, I placed two orders at Ulta online. Because it was Black Friday and I was like, oh, wait, they have more stuff. So let me go order something. But... I got two Anastasia glow kits for my clients. Ouch. So I did get a glow kit from Anastasia. This is the sugar one. And the shades are Marshmallow, Gundrop, Butterscotch, and Starburst. I'm not going to swatch it because I didn't wash my hands. But let's look at it. OMG, it's so pretty. So that's the first one I got because if I showed y'all what my other Anastasia palette looks like, babe, she looks like freaking dirt. Like she's just broken and I just, I kept having to fix her and I got tired of fixing her so she's just broke. Then I got the Anastasia Glow Kit Sun Dip. The packaging is so cute. And the shades on these are Bronze, Summer, Tourmaline, and Moonstone. Mmm. Super pretty. Uh, these are like kind of like this palette. I bought it for like my medium tone to darker skin tone clients. And then the other one I got for like my light to medium. Very cute. And I love how they're square. So it's easy to pack. I literally got three of the... Milani Make It Last setting sprays because I like them and they were on sale and honestly I'm gonna be really honest with y'all I don't really care for setting spray I know that sounds crazy but like you know how some people have like their OG favorite setting sprays I don't have like an OG favorite so I just use whatever's on sale but these are on sale so I got three of them this is the Make It Last one 
because one thing about me, I'm not stingy when it comes to setting spray. And then all I got was three Mario Badescu sprays. I also use this on my clients. I like to set, I like to spray this on their face first. And then I'll like fan their face dry. And then I'll go in with the, um, the actual setting spray. So that's all I got. Nothing too special. I have another order. It should be coming sometime soon. But whenever it comes, I'll do like an unboxing. Ulta, sponsor me. I'm literally a platinum member. I spend so much money at your store. Please, if you're seeing this. guys I just little update I didn't clean but yeah my room is clean I didn't make my bed because it's literally late and I don't feel like washing my sheets I'll do that tomorrow but we're clean so all I'm about to do is shower and get ready for bed I think honestly I'm gonna just finish everything tomorrow since I'm off and I literally have the whole day so I'm gonna call it a night and I'll see you all tomorrow so it's the next day um as you've seen I just cleaned my house I didn't wash my sheets last night because it ended up getting late and I just wanted to go to bed 
and I didn't sweep or mop the floors because I'm gonna be putting my Christmas decorations up so I feel like I was just gonna be dragging in like a lot of dirt and stuff and plus you know like your Christmas tree all that stuff be falling off so I was just like well that's kind of pointless so honestly I'm about to head to Harris Teeter to get a money order cuz your girl forgot to pay rent <laughs> I don't know how it slipped my mind, but I forgot to pay my rent, so I'm going to go get my money orders. I could pay it online, but they're using this new app to make us pay. And the old app that we used to use, it was like no service fees. Like You just pay the rent, it'll go straight to the complex. So then they transitioned to this new app. So I remember like last month, I was going to go pay my rent online. It was like a $33 service fee. So I emailed them like... Can I pay my rent another way because I'm not paying this fee? So, for now on, I'm going to just be doing money orders, which is pretty inconvenient. But I'd rather pay a $3 fee for money orders because it's like $0.99 cent per money order up to $500. So, I'd rather pay a $3 service fee than $33. So, that's what I'm about to do. And I'm not going to have no late fee because they usually give us like four days um, to pay our rent. But, yeah. Yeah that's why i'm ready to move this apartment complex is ghetto it's cute and all but it's ghetto like the management sucks so i'm about to run a hair cedar get my money orders pay my rent and i'll see y'all when i get back home so i just pay my rent and it is honestly hot outside like it's 60 degrees in december like North Carolina's weather is so bipolar, but before I start get started on the Christmas decorations, it's like 1.30, haven't eaten anything, so I'm about to make myself a green smoothie. So the smoothies I like to make, I usually go to Walmart and get these um green fruit and vegetable smoothies these are really good but i have a lot of these and usually when i buy a lot of fruit and i don't eat it but it's about to go bad i just freeze it i'll cut it up and freeze it so this one has peaches some celery sticks strawberries bananas and i put frozen spinach in it so i have a bunch of these so i'm gonna just use these but usually i get these from walmart they're like a dollar and some change so those are really convenient. And I also like to add a bit of the V8 healthy green juice, which I'm almost out. So I'll probably just use the rest of this. Then I'll put water. Then I'll do vegetable moringa powder. You get this from Walmart. This will last you forever. Don't put a lot because it'll it has a really earthy taste like i don't know what dirt tastes like but if i had to describe it i would say it tastes like dirt <laughs> and then this is just some type of uh fruity tasting collagen my mom had a big container at home and she gave me some a couple months ago so i just have it in this bag this tastes fruity so i just put some collagen in it so my skin looks nice and healthy but yeah i'm about to make my little smoothie and I have a smaller Nutri Blend or Magic Bullet, like this size, but usually it just it won't fit. So I just go ahead and make it in here. And both of those, like the one, like the sandwich bag of, fr of frozen fruit that I made myself, and also the one from Walmart, will probably fit like in here. So that's what I'm about to do. Gotta get it together, say whatever But since I met you, my life seems so better
here it's a smoothie it's like a pale green usually it's darker than this but oh well It tastes pretty good. It tastes like something I would get from like um, Tropical Smoothie or Smoothie King. So I'll just drink this until I finish it. So now I'm about to go inside of my outside storage, which is literally on my balcony. It's this door right here and I swear to Bob, if I see a fucking spider in that box, I'm gonna lose my shit. I'm sorry, I got distracted, but I'm like, what the fuck is this on my damn balcony? Like, I don't have no dog, and can't my dog get up here? Like, what is that? I don't... My mama she got my tree off season like she got it during the summer last year and she got it from dollar general and it was twenty dollars and it's like a pretty standard size tree like it's big enough for my apartment but yeah if you want a christmas tree wait till after the holiday because then they'll be like super cheap So I'm actually just gonna sweep off my balcony first because it looks a fucking mess. And then I'm gonna just start putting up Christmas decorations. So enjoy. so i just put the lights up well i didn't put them up i like stretched them out i believe this is 
five boxes, six boxes of lights, and it goes all the way to my studio. I just wanted to make sure that they still worked, and they do. And also, I felt like it would have been easier to go ahead and connect them, so then that way I could just continuously wrap it around the tree. So, I know my tree looks a little scant, but it went by $20. And my apartment isn't that big, so I don't need a big ass tree anyway. But I'm about to just wrap these lights around and see what they're looking like. I'm gonna fluff the tree out a little bit more. But yeah, so far it's going pretty good. Okay, so we got the lights up. The tree's looking, she's coming along. And I'm gonna use the ornament that I used last year. Um, a lot of these are from random places and some of them I had to DIY because my living room theme is like green, orange, tan, gold, that type of thing. And I couldn't really find any orange ornaments, so me and my mom like spray painted them orange. But the green ones, most of these are from At Home, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, random places. Um, have a bunch of gold ones. Honestly, can't remember where I got my tree topper from. And I have a whole bunch of other random ornaments that I'm gonna put up there. So I'm just put these up. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to see how she comes along. trees last year they were on sale for a dollar so i just put those right there and i put one right there Ooh, maybe i should put the two greens and put the gold right there hold on i'm gonna change that really quick because i'm very big on symmetry ah that just looks so much better but yeah it's so funny because Growing up, I would always find, find like an excuse to not put up Christmas decorations with my family. Like 
ever since I've been here on this earth, like my mom and my brother always do it together. I was like, yeah, I'm about to come help. I'll hop in a shower. I'll find something else to do. I'll leave home. I'll come back and it's all done. I was like, yes, I never had, like I never had to put up Christmas decor, decor by myself. And so then last year, I know I lived alone and everything, but my mom, she still came and put up my damn Christmas tree. She did it all by herself. So this year, she was like, I'm not doing it. If you want a Christmas tree, you're going to have to do it yourself. I was like, bitch, how dare you? How dare you say I have to do this by myself? Like, you know, I've never done this before. So I did it and it looked good. And I sent her a picture like, yeah, yeah, you should be very proud. And I ain't had no help. <laughs> so, yeah. She's cute, but all I'm about to do is mop the floors, wash clothes, and wash my sheets. And I might make dinner tonight. I don't know. I haven't decided. I've been doing really good about not eating out this week, and today's Thursday. So, I might make shrimp tacos. So, I might film that. I don't know, but I'll see y'all in a little bit. A couple of hours since I picked up my camera and I washed my hair, washed my clothes, my sheets and all that. And I honestly got too lazy to cook. I just ended up making me a sandwich. But I decided to go ahead and marinate my shrimp. And I'm going to let this sit in the fridge overnight. I just did some cilantro, adobo, a little bit of lemon juice, black pepper, onion powder, garlic powder. And that's it, I believe. So I'm gonna just let this marinate overnight and tomorrow I'm gonna cook. But I'm just about to do my curly hair routine as I did in one of my other vlogs. Just apply my products and diffuse it and then I'm gonna call it a night. But I just wanted to come in with a little update so I'll see you all in the morning. Good morning guys. So it's Friday, thank the Lord. And it's nine o'clock. I'm actually on the way to my mom's job. I wanted to see her before I started work at 12, so I'm gonna go pick us up some acai bowls for breakfast, and I'm gonna head over there. But I think today's just gonna be a really chill day, so we'll see what's in store for us. Our mama's favorite co worker is here. So, anyway, tomorrow, since I'll have the day to myself, because somebody has got to go to church and then they going to look for them another car. Mm. So, I'm going to be the jet ski the other way. I know that's right. So she was like, well, just call me in the morning and let me know what you're doing. negative. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that. Right. You already got stuff to do, so you do your stuff, and I'm going to do my stuff. I know, that's right. So, anyway, um, and I got on my coupon 10 off of 25 for my next visit at Big Lot. So I might go to the one in Wake Forest tomorrow. <laughs> you might be able to find some stuff. I know. I was excited. I have to send you a picture of my little reindeer. It's cute. Yeah, send me a picture. Mm -hmm. So I got that. That ended up being like $11. Period. It was like 16 I think. And I got it for like 11 so that's cute so mm -hmm. anyway, i found some new stuff but I, I didn't find hey y'all so i know it's been a couple hours since i picked up my camera but literally nothing much has been going on i had clients and then i was just chilling honestly but it's currently 9 21 and i'm about to finally make my shrimp tacos nothing special to it um last night i got lazy so i ended up just marinating the chicken the shrimp, my mind, I went ahead and marinated the shrimp and it's actually in this bag. 
I know it doesn't look that appetizing. And I'm just mix some yellow rice to go with it. Well, I tell y'all, this is the best yellow rice. Put a pack of sazon in it. Mmm. Mmm. But yeah, I'm gonna just make this and I'm gonna make it with some corn tortillas. I got some pico de gallo. I got some guacamole salsa. Some cheese. And that's really all I need. I don't feel like doing too much. And I, also, and I really don't have a lot of groceries. One thing about me, y'all gonna learn, I never keep my pantry or my fridge stocked. I don't know why. I feel like I'd rather not have something than to have something and it go bad and throw it away. So i just be having to make do with what I got. But literally, all I'm about to do is make some dinner. And I'll probably do a face mask tonight just to relax. And yeah, so I'm pretty much chilling. be brutally honest because it's my fault i thought i was gonna have shrimp tacos tonight but looks like i'm just gonna be having shrimp and rice which i'm not mad at it but literally i didn't realize that my corn tortillas were expired for like over a year they expire in 2020 child november of 2020 it is december of 2021 and I thought I was like, okay, maybe, you know, like they're really not that bad because they still look good. I didn't see any mold or anything, but I kept taking one out the pack and it kept falling apart. And then just all of them kept crumbling. So I was like, yeah, she's gone. So I got a pot of rice. And don't judge me, I'm eating out the bowl because I don't feel like having all these dishes to wash. I'm going to have some shrimp. So that's what I'm about to do. I'm not mad at it because I mean this is going to be the star of the show anyway it would have been nice to have shrimp tacos but maybe in another day when I actually go to the grocery store hi guys happy Saturday so don't mind this day it's huge and it's very painful and it's tight so hopefully it goes away in a couple of days but thank god for masks um, I'm just going to be getting my nails done today. I'm not sure what color I'm going to get because, you know, I have black. And, yeah, I just really don't know what kind of vibe December gives. But hopefully I can pick out something cute. But just to start my day, I'm going to read myself some affirmations. And I'm going to share them with y'all. This is an affirmations for happiness book. Um, my mom got it from got it for me from five below and she also bought me these little cards this one says make today magical and this one says make yourself a priority she got them both from five below and honestly five below has some really good like self-care items just like little cute things for your house so don't sleep on them so I'm gonna read a couple of affirmations just so y'all can take them with you as you watch this vlog so I'll probably read like three of them. I'm trying to see where I left off. Okay. So the first one is my potential is limitless. From now on, I'm doing my best to see the joy and abundance available to me. I let go of my self-inflicted restrictions and look for opportunities to fulfill my potential. I'm ready. Period. I claim that. And I'm going to just read one more. I can always find new opportunities to enjoy. Each new day is a gift with an infinite number of potential presents. I can choose to see as many as I want. I can find happiness in a wide variety of places. I choose to seize these moments and enjoy them a little more. I like that. And this is out of the affirmation book. I need to get a bookmark so I don't scramble through the pages once I get deeper into it. And this is a positive affirmation box. I honestly never opened it, but we're going to open it um, just to see what it's talking about. So this is what they look like on the inside. It's honestly a stack of cards. So I'm going to just read the first one and then just move it to the bottom. 
So the first one is I Believe in Myself. And then on the back, it has like this little spot you can fill out. And this one says, I am most proud of my. And you'll just fill in the blank. So I find that really cute. And the next one, just to give y'all a reference, it says, I choose to be happy and love myself today. I love these. I love these a lot. And then for the make yourself a priority, this is like a self-care in a box. That's what it says. So I'm going to just open it. So this one, the first one that's there, um, it's like a breathing, it's like a breathing exercise. It says take three slow deep breaths in for four, out for six. So I feel like I might do the self-care ones like at the end of the day instead of the beginning of the day. Um, and then it, on the back it has like types of self-care, physical, emotional, social, and mental. And then it has like little fill in the blanks. I will take care of myself by da 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 And then it says how this made me feel. So this is super cute. If y'all really need some cute like self-care items, go to five below. And it's not sponsored. <laughs> I wish it was, but, um... Yeah, I feel very good when I start my day with some type of affirmation just so it sets the vibe for the day. But my mom ordered me a new laptop case for Christmas because I needed one. She ordered me two. The other one is up under the tree. But she gave me one because when she seen my laptop case, she was like, Oh no, like you need to open it now. And I'm gonna show y'all what it looks like. I just got a green one. And it comes with a um, screen protector, I believe. But this is what my current one looks like. Ooh, my eyelash got stuck. She's cracked. This whole chunk flew off like last week, but she's cracked. I had a clear one. I don't know why my laptop case is always cracked. And it could honestly just be because I don't spend a lot of money on them. And, you know, you get what you pay for. So I'm just about to put this on really quick. Just to see what it's talking about. I hope this fits. It's not fitting. Or maybe I'm not putting it on right. Let me flip it. That's weird. Like it fits, but it's not like snapping. Maybe I need to put the bottom on first and then. Hold on y'all, I'm gonna figure this out. So I figured out the case situation. I kind of had to slide it on and then pop it on the back. But this is what it looks like. It's so cute. I can link it down below just in case y'all want it. 
it came with the screen protector so i got the screen i put the screen protector on and it came with like a little keyboard thing and it came with some extra little button things for the bottom because sometimes they do pop off but yeah i'm very excited to have my laptop looking cute again <laughs> so yeah um I'm just chilling for now. I have a couple of clients. Oh, well, I only have two. So I'm going to just knock those out and I'll see y'all when I'm headed to the nail salon. Hi, guys. So I'm on the way to the nail salon and I should have left a little bit earlier because, like I said, I haven't eaten today. I wanted to stop by Chick fil A, but Chick fil A is like always packed on the weekend. So. We're gonna see if we're able to get food or not, but I don't really know. But I think I decided on the color I'm gonna get. I'm not gonna say it because I'm gonna be disappointed if they don't have the color that I have in mind. So I guess we'll just wait and see. So I'm back from the nail salon and I ended up getting this deep burgundy color super cute and i'm gonna show y'all a picture of my nail i snuck a picture if you've been watching my vlogs you know the story behind the nail i'm not gonna keep explaining it but trigger warning it's ugly as fuck so here's my nail So every time I have to get a tip put on it until it grows out. So I just hate looking at it. I know I'm probably being dramatic, but whatever. But on the way home, I picked up some Chick-fil-A. Um, I got some nuggets and I already ate my fries on the way. So I don't like cold fries, so. So I was complaining to my mom how, I think my tree is cute but I feel like it could look a little bit fuller. So she has some extra ornaments that she brought me. I had extra gold ones, but I didn't want to use gold, so I might do green, but I might not do it tonight. But she also bought me some ribbons. I've been watching a couple of TikToks on how to put ribbon on a Christmas tree. So there were like a lot of different methods on how to do it exactly but i seen one of them that looked pretty easy and it was cute so i'm just about to try it myself and this particular ribbon it has wire in it so i'm gonna just use one roll and see how that makes it look which is honestly not that long it's only well it's nine feet but I'm gonna probably cut this into four sections. But I honestly might have to end up using all three rolls of ribbon, so. One, and I'm not measuring it either. Two, yeah, four, I was about right. And with a wire ribbon, Whatever way you form it, it's gonna like stay that way because it has wire in it. So, see this one lady, she literally folded it like this. And then with the little end piece, she like kind of tucked it. So it looks like that. And then she kind of just spread it out. So I'm gonna make these and see how it looks with the four. I know I'm gonna have to make more, but I just wanna see how it's gonna look first before I, um... yeah, see, I'm just gonna have to, some of them I might do three, then other ones I might do two, cause I didn't measure to cut it. I just kinda, went with it so i'm gonna keep doing this 
with all three rolls and then I'm gonna just stick them into the tree to see how it looks. So I don't know if y'all can tell the difference, but I added the ribbon to my tree. I feel like it looks a little bit more full, which I can appreciate. I might add some ornaments tomorrow because my hooks, <laughs> not the hook, the hooks for my ornaments are actually in my storage. And it's dark outside, as you can clearly see. So I'm about to go out there. But yeah, I do love my nails. I'm gonna get them done right before Christmas again. So, um, I'm excited to pick out another color. But I do have one assignment that's in the way of me being free. And by that, I mean like from school. So, I think it's due Monday, but I really wanna just get it over with tonight just so I can be done. And then next week, I have three exams. So, that's kind of boring. But yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog right here because I need to edit it and upload it. And I don't want it to be too long. Um, but if y'all prefer longer videos, then hey, I'll keep filming them for you. But if you made it to the end of this vlog, thank you so much for watching. And I really hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in next week's Vlogmas.